We had a couple of girls that were here in wheelchairs and we wanted to actually keep them sort of enjoying the game. You know, they felt that there was very little out there for them. So we thought by becoming an inclusive club, it would involve people, you know, on from all aspects of life. It means somewhere we can go where our children, they're accepted for who they are and what they can do and they're not judged by other people. It's really good. They certainly build a confidence because before that she was uh, sort of uh, sociably uh, excluded uh, because of her learning dis disability but within the club now she's uh, managed to find confidence and she can concentrate and focus on what she's actually doing. And I think we just enjoy seeing each other as well at the club because yeah. they're actually developing some friendships because they're seeing each other regularly which um, unless you've got somewhere to go to and meet and, and play and do an activity, it helps you bond and you know, without this club they wouldn't have that. I think Nikki enjoys the friendship and the coaching that she, she actually gets from this club. But friendships, I think, is, is, a, is a really big thing with her. This, this wouldn't happen unless we had the volunteers coming into it. Um, I've been doing it for years, you know, it's totally unpaid. We do it because we feel that the children want to have, you know, have good grounding and that sort of thing to play the game. And if we can be of any assistance and get them, you know, just to play that little bit better, go out with a smile on their face, enjoy the game, I think that is so, so important.